you have been very enthusiastic in searching and sharing facts, quizzes, etc. on the 2020 mission to Mars. However, human mind is such that if you don't put these facts and information in a framework, then you will forget most of it within days. So, let's start putting what we are learning into a framework. What we are studying is called astronautics, which is the science and technology of space travel and exploration. Engineers and scientists working in this area must be knowledgeable in many different fields. Let's create a framework of the different fields that are covered in astronautics. There are several ways you can learn more about the Earth, our solar system and the universe. One way is to sit on Earth and use equipment like telescopes, radio telescopes, spectrometers, etc. Another way is to leave Earth and view things from space, be it using satellites, a telescope in space like Hubble, or by sending a rover to another planet. Yet another way is to send humans, like the Apollo missions to the moon or scientists working on board the International Space Station. If you want to leave Earth to learn more about planetary bodies, then to launch a satellite, a rover or a human into space, you have to first overcome Earth's gravity. Your space vehicle has to travel at the speed of around 11 km per second, that is 40,000 km per hour to reach Earth's escape velocity. Escape velocity is the minimum speed to escape from the gravitational pull of a planetary body. If a space vehicle is at a speed less than the escape velocity, then gravity will simply pull it back. It will not let the space vehicle escape into space. To reach a speed of 11 km per second, you need a very powerful rocket. So, one field of study in astronautics is rocket science. Then, you need to orbit the planetary body you want to learn more about. How space vehicles orbit a planetary body like the Earth, Moon, Mars or the Sun is covered under a discipline called orbital mechanics. Robotics is another important area in space exploration. It could be a robot like a Robonaut that works on board the International Space Station or a rover like Curiosity or Perseverance. Earlier rovers that NASA sent to Mars, Opportunity and Spirit in 2004, they were like astrogeologists capable of analyzing the composition of rocks and minerals to learn more about the planet Mars. NASA's 2020 mission Perseverance is more of an astrobiologist. It carries with it equipment to analyze if life ever existed on Mars. To design robots and rovers that are astrogeologists or astrobiologists, knowledge of geology, biology, chemistry, etc. becomes very important in the field of astronautics. If it is a human mission to space, say to the International Space Station, then we want these human explorers to stay alive and healthy in the strange world of weightlessness and out there in space, which can be a very dangerous place for us humans. Staying healthy and staying alive is covered by the field of space physiology and environmental control. Expertise in computer programming is a very important component of astronautics. We want the robots, rovers and equipment on board the space vehicles to be autonomous. Autonomous means being capable of taking own decisions using sensors and data. Autonomy is very important because these space vehicles are millions of miles away from planet Earth and sending them instructions takes time. And we want that till the time our instructions reach them, they can take care of their own safety. This is the overall simple framework that we can use to learn more about astronautics. A framework is like a map that tells you where you are, where you have been, that is what you have already covered and what is still to come. Such a visual mind map helps your brain understand more and learn better. So in our astronautics framework, we have looked at satellites and learnt a little about rovers. Next. Let's look at rocket science, the science to beat Earth's gravity and go into space.